Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra's Lair. I'm your host, Larry the Chupacabra, and we're back for another mobile game sort of video here today, taking a look at the latest title from the people that made the sort of uh, base building slash base assaulting game, Clash of Clans, that has spawned so many clones out there in the world. And Clash Royal, the new game, is less about building a base and more about tower defense using a set of cards like these ones here in order to, like, build a roster of characters that you can use to attack each other. And you are, in fact, attacking other players in real time. And you do that through these different arenas. And then you can unlock points to unlock these other different types of cards. And some of these can only be unlocked in specific arenas and with completion of specific tasks. And all of that stuff. So I guess we might as well just jump into battle, and I have already been paired with somebody. So, it looked very familiar. The build units that you start out with in this game are this pink fluid, which is like the elixir fluid that you might be familiar with from previous games. And I like to start out my game just bum-rushing people in an absolutely annoying and obnoxious way that they find very difficult to deal with. And we're playing against What's-His-Button, which I'm not really sure what that name is about, but he has decided to launch Giant Scary um, Giant against our base in a similar way that I've decided to go after him. And so the whole goal is you want to destroy the other person's base before they destroy yours. That's the whole goal at the end of the day. And we're at a bit of a stalemate right now. I trashed one of his secondary keeps, and he trashed one of mine. So now we're just going to wait and see if we can spawn enough units in order to finish each other, and there is a limited amount of time that we have in which to do this sort of stuff. So he has spawned a big, nasty, mean dragon. So I'm going to spawn my Pekla, Pekka, whatever this little automaton guy is, who is actually just going to ignore everything, so... I suppose I'll just summon my own stuff to go and fight. And as we get down in time, it's going to become like we're going to get more and more resources generated. And we're, well, I mean, it's really going to get right down to the wire here pretty soon. So I'm going to spawn a giant here with some of these spear chucking goblins. And it's just using your limited resources and your randomly selected pool of characters in order to try and rush the other guy down before time ends. And we're at a bit of a stalemate right now, just a straight-up stalemate. Which is what it is. And, yeah. I mean, if, if neither one of us d kills the other person's extra keep in a certain amount of time, then this is where the whole thing will end out. Which it is what it is. I mean, I'm not a super master at this game. I've played a few of them. But I do all right. I certainly do do all right. I think we might... I might lose this, actually. I'm not so sure, really. But it's hard to say. I mean, I've had these where it looked like I was about to lose, and then all of a sudden I won. And that was a... You know, some of the most difficult to beat people in this game right now are actually people from, like, oh, Korea, and actually Mexico. I've had a lot of rough-and-tumble folks from Mexico, of all places. So yeah, I don't think we're... This is probably going to end in a stalemate. It probably is. Um, I've gotten him down a little bit further on his main keep, but I don't see this uh, ending in... Oh, sudden death. Okay, sounds good to me, man. We'll just spawn a bunch of stuff and see where the cards fall. There we go. Looks like my reign of terror is continuing bottom. On down here. I'm not sure how well Sudden Death Overtime is going to go, but he does have this nasty dragon. And that nasty dragon just beats my stuff right up. <coughs> oh. And there you have it. So I got defeated, but it was a pretty close match. It really was. And he didn't win by a huge margin either. And that, for the most part, and I'll let, do that, rate this game later. Um, that, for the most part, is how this game goes. And as you win, 
you get these chests, and I've already opened one of them, and they contain things like money or levels for other some of your minions, or you can even get like new cards from them. And then if you want to unlock them, you can spend some time to unlock it. And this is where it starts to get into the money category. These games are all just pay for convenience. But I don't find this game to be too much uh, in the way of paying to wait, which a lot of these games can get that way. So some of the things that you can do here is we can adjust our deck of characters. So we've got this rare trooper, the Valkyrie, that we can equip. Uh, she's a tough melee fighter. I think we'll use her to replace my knight. So let's use you. And we'll place the knight with you because I want to check you out. And then I can also level up. I've got level points here to level up my spear goblins with some in-game gold to increase their damage and their health. And that's a really... And you can set like multiple different decks of characters in here. And I actually kind of enjoy this game. I got really bored of Clash of Clans almost immediately, but this one's not too bad. Now, what other characters might I fiddle with? I... These skeletons here are not that bad. These are epic rarity troopers, these skeletons, but I've not been getting the best usage out of them. Maybe... Well, let's upgrade these regular goblins before I do anything else. I'm not really sure what I want to do with these characters right now. Because, like, I don't have that cool dragon, this one right here. The baby dragon, which was beating me up. And I didn't really have anything that could kill this that well. And, uh, they hatch cute, hungry, and ready for barbecue. And, you know, I that's how I hatch, too, in the morning. I hatch right out of bed, and I'm hungry and ready for... Maybe not barbecue for breakfast, but I could do with, like, a frittata or something. So yeah, there's lots to unlock in here, and there's also a bit of like a, I'd almost call it a pro circuit, where you can actually watch some of the top players play, um, just through the, the app itself, which is kind of neat. And you can see all the tor types of units that they use. I have a glass of water here. Still getting over being sick on my end, so I'm a little bit, uh, dry throat. So I got a free chest. What's in my free chest? Some gold. I got some free in-game uh, premium currency, a level for my goblins. Oh, hey, I can upgrade my bomber. That I do want to do. Because these bombers do a lot of damage. They just do a lot of AoE damage, too. Oh, and I, I think I just leveled to level three. Hot diggity dog. And I just gained a bunch of uh, health to my arena towers. I think I can actually join a clan now if I wanted to. Let's see, one of these is the clan button, but I'm not too worried about that right now. And here's clans. I can make a clan, but I don't really care. Probably not going to play this game a lot after this. <coughs> Excuse me. But you never know. This is definitely a game you could kill some time with on, like, the train, going to work, or on the bus, or just having a break at lunchtime. So let's do another battle here. Alright, what do we got? Me versus Kulaz. Alright, what do we want to do here with Kulaz? Probably a giant bombardment with some bombers. So let's do a giant and some bombers, and then wait to deal with whatever they throw at us. Like all these little minions here. All these little Skeletrons, which we can just nail right now. That wasn't too bad. We actually got a net gain on that little arrangement. So I liked that. That was pretty sweet and suave. Let me spawn some archers. Now I could probably get away with some spear goblins too. Now, they spawned a musketeer, or a, a musket-wielding uh, lady friend here, who I'm not the most fond of. But that'll give me plenty of opportunity to spawn in some of my own annoyances to deal with them. And an, a barrage of arrows to defend my keep. And now we're kind of at a stalemate here. I do want to try out my new, like, barbarian lady. That is pretty high on my to-do list. 
So I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna try and use Barbarian Lady and my Giant at the same time, perhaps. Okay, that's Valkyrie Lady and Giant. There we go. Um, this is gonna be rough and tumble for a bit here. I don't really have a good way of dealing with all of those little Skeletrons. Not really. Well, that's fine. I'll just spawn some helpers. I'd like to win one on camera. I was doing really well before, but I haven't really been getting my picks that I'd want to really nail this. All right, they got a knight coming after us, and now the 60 seconds are left. It's anyone's game, really. Crazy Pants McGillicuddy time. There we go, we'll do some rushing in. All right, I think I can get him with these arrows, most of their units. Hmm. Can I get them before they get me? That is the question. Come on, Bombardiers. Yes, I win. Yay. All right, that wasn't too bad. And we got a silver chest out of it and 30 trophies. I will do this net Crash Royal. I'm not doing that right now. I will rate your stuff later. And that basically, in a nutshell, is Clash Royal. You do sort of deck-based tower defense where you use units as opposed to the towers themselves to defend yourself and to attack. And it helps to know what counters what, you know, like a lot of really low health minions are susceptible to a barrage of arrows and stuff like that. It's very card gamey, kind of like Hearthstone. <coughs> Mm, excuse me. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. I've been your host, Larry the Chupacabra. This has been a little look at Clash Royal. Hope you enjoy, and I will catch you guys and gals next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I, I would recommend this game. I kind of like it, and it doesn't shove this premium money um, in your face. You know, the premium currency like so many of these games, including Clash of Clans, tended to do. And here's sort of what the shop looks like, you know. And yeah, this is about the standard pay model for in-game currency. It's a little bit bonkers if you ask me, but hey. That's life. I mean, it's a free-to-play game. What more do you want? You know, you can spend some time to get stuff or you can spend a little bit of money. That's basically what they're, they're offering you. Not sure how much I like that, but it's better than most. So that's it for this one, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll catch you next time. Toodles.